number 23, the St. Louis Blues. Um, this is one for me that um, uh, I, I love. The St. Louis Blues logo is perfect. That's why it's never changed. Um, outside of like the addition of writing St. Louis in it. It's the same logo, basically. Um, the red for me is a little bit much. Like, it, it, I kind of like the Bruins, I guess. Like, it's... Mm. It's not even an accent for them. It's an accent that they wore in the 90s for, like, a year. Mm -hmm. And they turned it into the primary. And it's a little bit aggressive for me. And also, the yellow gets a little bit crushed in those little lines. Okay, um, yeah. I definitely agree with that. I, I, but, again, it's another... It's kind of like the um, Blue Jackets where it's like... You can't you can't accuse them of being... You lazy designer. Yeah, okay, like, they, they went for it. That's and fair. I've actually seen a lot of people like them. So who cares what I think? Like, if they sell... That's the point of this, by the way. They, they need more revenue because people couldn't go to games from March on last year. And they need more revenue and they need it through merchandise right before the holiday season. Perfect. Wow, how convenient. Yeah. Uh, they are number one in the Central Division. <laughs> that's <for me. laughs> it. Yes. I keep knocking them out. Set them up. <laughs> so, um, Woo! the reason why, I was like, you know what? Their name is blue. They could <laughs> use a different color. Different, like... Bold color uh -huh. in there. Daba so, dee daba da. da <laughs> yeah. I, I do now in hindsight agree that yeah, those small lines on the bottom definitely get crushed. Like they could have probably been thicker, either mm. like less lines and made them thicker or whatever. But um, that's something I personally think you, that will be able to tell when you have a team of people on the ice. And yeah. Like, you'll see it, like what it looks like on TV. Ooh, like, yeah, that might look even worse on the ice. That, yeah, I agree. Because so. it would be almost. You either might not so what you're saying is tell. I'm really right about this. Uh, like, I even had the foresight to know it's going to look worse on the ice. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying you didn't. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, all right. Anyway. Um, 23. That was 23. 22, okay. the New York Islanders. I think a lot of people were probably like, here's your Islander bias, the fact that uh -huh. they're not last, because I saw two different yeah. uh, videos that had them last. But I, like I said, I, I was trying not to rank them based on, like, creativity, like, if that were true, then I'd probably have the Islanders at like thirty, mm -hmm. and I'd have I'd still have Detroit last. Um, <laughs> but like, like the Islanders, here's the thing: like they have never really perfected a an alternate look from what they had in the '80s. They always end up coming back to what they had in the '80s mm. uh, and the I '70s. Wonder why. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, we all wanted this, and this would have been fantastic. The closest we got was the navy from it, uh, even though. It's not even technically the Navy from this, even though it's the same thing. It's the Navy yeah. from 06. And, uh, but I did grow up watching them basically wear something like this. It's fine. Um, but here's the, the big pitfall for it um, is not even how it looks. It's it's not different enough for people to want to shell out $300. I completely agree, yeah. Why would you? You need to, like, the teams that went for it, applaud because they know marketing they know sales they know they need to get a jersey out there that looks different enough for people to buy the islanders are, I they i i a lot of people are speculating that adidas probably had a fisherman lined up and i think the teams probably had a lou, final say lou said no lou is famously uh, very against gaudy yeah whatever and he almost certainly was like no way no <laughs> In fact, I had an idea, and maybe this will be a video at some point, of the meeting between the Adidas, <laughs> the Adidas yeah. rep and Lou. And, no. and the Adidas rep is like, so we got your fish... No. <laughs> we don't have a backup plan. All right. But, um, all right, let's move on. Uh, well, actually, well, no, have, you talk about the Islanders. Yeah, I don't have much to say other than they're in the middle. They're number five in the Metro. Okay. Because, like you said, like it's like, I, I'm not going to buy this jersey, so... Yeah, <laughs> I don't even think down. I will. I have so many jerseys. I know. I'm gonna wait for this to like get discounted. Yeah, it'll probably be a while. You know what's funny is because I think that some jerseys might go up in value if they only sell them, you know, limited release kind mm -hmm. of thing. But this some the might Fisherman go down. Went, the Fisherman went way up in value, but it took decades because people had to yeah, go through a yeah. whole phase of hating it, and then they're like, "But wait a second. Yeah. Uh, Once right. that generation moved on, they're yes. like, "This next generation. Well, oh, that's actually a cool logo." I'll yeah. say this. There's definitely a lot of people that still hasn't moved on. Number 21. Uh, this sucks because design-wise, it's great. It's the coloring for me that uh, brings it down. The Dallas Stars. Okay, um, yeah. So we talked about it for Briefly, a second yeah. before the video. Um, I'll try to make this quick. Love the the template that they went back to. Great. Everybody wanted that mm -hmm. template. Um, they got to cups in those templates. Uh, they also got to cups in their new ones. But... Um, Right, cup, singular. But, man, they missed an opportunity with 
Um, first of all, like you said, the outline of Dallas Stars is not stark enough oh, not to all. even yeah. see. It's a very, 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 very light tannish, creamish in the logo. Yeah. And then um, the bottom... It almost. This is going to sound weird. It almost looks like it's dirty. Like, you know oh, what I mean? sure, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah. It looks like it was all the same color, but mm. because the letters were embroidered and raised, yes. like, it looks like it just got dirty. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? No, I can definitely see that. And uh, the bottom part under the star yeah. uh, needed color, like green. Uh, 100%. Like, make, here's, here's my suggestion. Make this yellow that you see in the North Stars, um, which makes sense because it's part of their history. They, that's, this is the team that was that team. You have, um, to, you have to use your words because they can't see on camera. <laughs> I, well, they know. I'm explaining to you. <laughs> um, but get this, get the subway yellow from the the Wilds jersey, put it as one of these, mm -hmm. then put the green as the main under part. Do you, do you know <laughs> no, I, 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 I know okay, what you're okay, saying. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me your take. Give me your take. Oh, I have them as... Uh... I, I have them as three in the central. Okay. But I, I that was because I, I don't... I didn't, the central I wasn't a huge fan of in yeah. general, so I think overall they would have been that would have been lower, like mm -hmm. the overall number. Um, but yeah, hundred percent. Just it's it's not defined enough. It has so much potential. Yeah, that's a good way of describing. It, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, they actually do have one thing that I wanted to mention quick about them that actually like brought them up a little bit. Um, they're gonna wear white gloves and white socks. It's mm. gonna be. A whiteout, and I appreciate so, the effort. Do you think in that a, regard? Do you think there's a little bit of strategy there? Because it might just be harder to see the players. <laughs> I've always thought about. I that. couldn't see him, coach. <laughs> like I always thought he was about right him. next to you. It was like the Invisible Man, so yeah. he just breathes on you and then skates <laughs> away, and it's like, where is he? Anyway, anyway, uh, yeah. Twenty. Um, the we're going back to the Metro for twenty. We are going to the comment section of the <laughs> aesthetics. Come on. Where is it? it? Right there. Uh, the Philadelphia Flyers. Perfectly fine uniform. We're getting into that territory of like they're perfectly fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they're perfectly fine. Um, probably would have preferred to see a black. They haven't worn a black in a while, but it's a reverse retro of an old black jersey. So, oh, that's that's like cheating. It is a little bit. So they would have worn black as the primary and yeah. orange on the shoulders. It's the reverse retro. That's cheating. Which, by the way, inconsistent. So far, by the way, reverse retro. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Has been very inconsistent. Yeah. Um, so but, it's just like designing completely new jerseys. Yeah. So or like, taking old jerseys and, and using colors that aren't even the reverse. Yeah. yeah. So very it's, it's kind of all over the place uh, in, in regards to that. But for Philly, it's very nice. Um, would we have preferred a black jersey? Yes. Is it a little bit? Eh, we'll get around it. I honestly, I, I can't think of what Philly's normal jersey looks like right now, but like it, I, I can't, like, they in my head, can't tell the difference. Less, less black involved than their more, in their usual jersey now. Okay. Uh, a lot so, more yeah. white on that shoulder area. But hey, um, yeah. yeah, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. You yeah, know, if, I agree. if it had been a normal year, this would have been a great Halloween jersey. Yes. Because it's, yes, yeah, it's yeah. perfect coloring. Um, so, pretty decent jersey. I have there. them as number three in the Metro. Okay. So, a little bit, a little bit high. Yeah, we're... But, in a, the same ballpark. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 20, or sorry, 19, the Oilers. Now, the mm -hmm. Oilers, I actually had higher earlier, um, but then I realized this is basically just the way they wore in the 80s almost exactly. <laughs> um, huh. Now, it is, this is a reverse retro in that... I'm guessing it's the home it was, from the 80s. It was the blue yeah. with the, or with the uh, orange shoulders, and now it's white with the orange mm -hmm. shoulders. Okay. It's fine. The, the striping I like a lot. It's it's a callback to a uniform that is pretty highly liked. Uh, actually, this is one where the creativity let it down a little bit. That's why it ended up lower. Let it down. Let it down. Yeah, because it's basically just their eighties oh, uniform. Not enough creativity. Yeah, not yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, the creativity. Like, <laughs> I thought you were like, it's exploding with creativity. No, no, no. It no, dropped off because of. Yeah, I completely um, agree. But it, yeah, it's not. It's not. Inter it's not uninteresting. But again, I would put it in the fine. fine territory. It's that like what the kids say. Clean, clean. Oh, it's, like, so, it's crisp and it's clean. The kids like clean. I, have I hate the number, kids. I have it as number six in the Pacific. Okay, so, so we're fairly pretty yeah, much on the same towards boat. the middle. I'd say six to three or like three to six, better way of saying. Mm. Clearly in the middle. Okay, who, what was that, 20? Yep. So, uh, we're going to the Atlantic. Sorry, that was 19. We're going okay. to 18 here. Uh, the Ottawa Senators. Now, Ottawa just rebranded back to pretty much the exact uniform they wore when they first re-expanded in Ottawa in the 90s. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, they were a team in the 20s, didn't come back until the 90s, 
Welcome back. Yep. Um, they went back to that logo. It's a 2D look instead of the 3D look. Mm -hmm. The problem with the 3D one was it had those eyes kind of like in a painting that always follow you everywhere. It was very creepy. Uh, and this mm. 2D look actually, to me, I mean, it's the Senators. It's regal. What keeps it towards the middle for me is that I, uh, they recently went from a primary red team back to black as their primary. So it's cool for them to keep red around uh, in this regard as the third. Um, and red on black, to me, just looks good. They complement each other really yeah, well. Oh, yeah. And it's just the color flip of the other jersey. That's what keeps it around the middle. Like the colors, like the design, um, but fairly basic. I had them number seven in the Atlantic, so Ooh. towards the bottom. But that was a little bit of a rash decision. I actually really do like the 2D design. Mm -hmm. that, I'm actually yeah. a big fan of that. And yeah, red and black, yeah, will always go together. So um, maybe a little bit harsher, but again, I, I'm more of a fan of the simple design. So I actually, like, the Atlantic was more of a competitive decision, division mm. for me because uh, the Detroit, Detroit Red Wings, they're probably number one, honestly, on my <laughs> list. Actually, they're not, but they're, I can't believe they're up there. Mm. They're up there. All right. Uh, at 17, we have the Hurricanes. I almost called them the Whalers because it's the Whalers. Yes. Um, now, these are good. I so they brought back their uh, the green version of this in recent years, and yes. it's a harsher green. It's not this uh, darker green. It's like a very limey green. Um, for me, uh, gray as a primary is always a little bit. I'm like iffy on it, but um, I think it's fine. The striping um, is cool. Like it, it's distinct on the gray at least. Okay, that's yeah. And they utilized all the colors that the Hartford Whalers ever wore. So uh, wait, but that's a white. And for the stripe, uh, and yeah, the gray for the yeah. So weird. maybe that I, that also for me was a little bit weird because it's, it's like, not bad. I, I don't know if I like it necessarily. I don't think I don't think it's intrinsic. That, that's why I have it almost exactly down the middle because I was I yeah. I'm still a little bit like it's fine. <laughs> so uh, I cannot get past the fact that this thing looks like a sideways three and a whale tail. Okay, I cannot. That's I don't like it. Okay, I'm, all right, so that's it is, fair. It is number seven in the metro. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert, right above the Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> but that was more as a joke. I don't, you know, for the Rangers being last. All right, uh, number 16. We go, stay in the Eastern Conference. We go to the Atlantic Division. They should have put this in the correct order. They put this on aesthetics. And it the it's West Conference, East Conference, West Conference. Why? Just the, anyway. Reverse retro, bro. We're crazy. Oh, God. The, all right, so here's one that people really don't seem to like. I think is fine. The Toronto Maple Leafs. So, um, when I first saw this, and I tweeted this out, so now this tweet is, is factually incorrect. Maybe I'll get the little thing that Trump keeps getting where it's like, yeah. oh, this tweet is incorrect, and uh, then they'll strike me down. But, uh, so, that is not white. That's a gray on that uniform. Okay. And I've always said, and I'm not a big fan of, like, just the two-tone jerseys where you only have two different colors. I feel like it limits the striping possibilities and creativity. But for the mm. Leafs, they've only had, like, I mean, they have white, like, bars on the arms, but they, nothing on the shoulders. And um, I think like they needed to... Logo? No. Oh, well. And so I thought they needed to infuse a little bit more color into it. They went with gray instead of white. Usually I'd kind of be iffy on that, but I kind of like this. The issue, and you're not going to be able to see it on, on here, but you will be able to see it maybe on the image that we put up. They used... It's almost like the meme format. Some uppercase letters, some lowercase letters. Wait, really? So it's almost like Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> uh, they put a, a lowercase n in the rest of its capital. It's just weird. Um, Leafs That's fans terrible. don't seem to like it. I like the logo, um, and I like I like the design. I think it's fine. I, that's why I have it exactly in the middle. I think yeah. it's perfectly fine. Um, there are some weird quirks about it, but I think it's it's fine. Uh, it kind of okay. This. I have it as number uh, six in the in Atlantic, so mm -hmm. like towards the middle again. And I did like the Atlantic overall a lot, but uh, so like because they showed off all the all the um, jerseys with people wearing hoodies underneath them. Yeah, and so I like I looked at that and I was like, it looks like a hoodie. Oh, like, you know what okay. I mean? Where it's just like it doesn't look like a jersey. It looks okay, like a, yeah, look like a hoodie with a logo on it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I can and see that. so, uh, but which I don't dislike, but mm -hmm. it just you know, uh, very very flat, kind of like very uh almost i would say conservative image you know sure yeah, yeah except yeah. for that n in the toronto that's yeah, weird. That's, that's very weird nobody can figure it out it's yeah. such a weird small thing too all right officially in the top half of the list all right the, number 15 